buying this hard drive from Western Digital was a mistake. This is the WD Gold 16 terabyte version. Let's unbox the drive and then I'll tell you why I will be returning it in today's two minute review. The packaging of this product is very simple. The only way to know which product is inside is to read the label. I love the environmentally friendly packaging. This is just recyclable cardboard and inside the cardboard creates this sturdy cradle that will hold the hard drive very safely in place. This is nice. Inside the box, the hard drive is in a sealed plastic bag. I believe this is a special material that will block both sunlight and static. One thing that's not in the box is any kind of cables. So you will need a power cable from your motherboard as well as a SATA data cable from your motherboard to mount this drive. Mounting this drive was really easy. There are only four mounting screws in the corners of the drive. The purpose of this WD Gold drive was actually to replace an old WD Green drive. And the green drive also had mounting holes in the middle on the side, but the WD Gold only has them in the corners. I think as far as hard drives go, this one looks pretty good. Now let's talk about why I chose the WD Gold for this system. The two previous drives that I bought and that are still in the system were WD Blue. That's the consumer grade series from Western Digital. But they only go up to 12 terabytes and I wanted something bigger. I was looking at the various series from WD. There's the red for NAS setups. There's the UltraStar for data centers. There's the purple for surveillance applications. And then there's the WD Gold for enterprise applications. The specifications for all of those drives are very similar. And for me, the WD Gold just represented the best price per terabyte ratio. So that's the one I picked. Learn more with the links in the description where I will also have links to alternatives. Because now we come to the problem. As soon as I installed the drive, I started hearing a loud clicking noise exactly every five seconds. Even when I have my PC under my desk, I can pretty much hear the click from across the room. And when I put my finger physically on the drive, I can feel that it is the WD Gold making that clicking sound. And those vibrations, they propagate through the case and my desk as well. After a bit of searching, I realized that this is a technology called preventive wear leveling. Apparently the drive injects a bit of lubrication into the mechanism and this happens every five seconds. So it's a feature, not a defect. If I would have known about this loud, obnoxious and constant noise from the drive, I would have chosen a different model. I have my PC in my living room that you can see here around me and this noise level is unacceptable for my use case. Therefore, I will be returning the drive later today. This is a bit of a shame because I've been using WD drives for more than two decades. I've never had a problem with them. I've never suffered any kind of data loss. It is a bit sad to abandon the Western Digital drives now. So for this upgrade, I'm going to go with the Seagate Exos drive instead. I've heard great things about them noise wise. You can learn more about pricing and availability for the Exos drives too with the links in the description below. The reason why my hard drives are filling up is because of all my video production. Another great tool for video producers is this gear wrap from Peggy Tech. Go tap the screen right here to watch my full review of that wrap that's going to protect your sensitive gear when traveling. Thank you very much for watching. Two minute reviews and I will see you in the next video.